it's Anne from the Useless Crafter. So I am wrapping another gift where we're going to use the faux snow. And um, I approved upon a couple things. So I want to show you that as well as using um, glitter HTV onto the wrapping paper. So let's get started. Um, most of these things are from the Dollar Tree store. So I wanted brown, like the craft wrapping paper but they didn't have it at the Dollar Tree store. They had this printed paper, which I'm just gonna turn inside out. For a dollar, I'm gonna do it. So let's wrap this sucker. So the first thing is when I'm wrapping, I sort of just lay it out like this, and then that way with a good pair of scissors, which I don't know if I have a good pair of scissors right now, but anyway. We're just going to take it and Cut it up. So I'm a big stickler about keeping your scissors sharp. So obviously this one is not sharp, but it's just for wrapping paper, so it's okay. But um, I have specific paper for, you know, to cut fabric and ribbon. So I don't use paper for those scissors. So my sharp scissors are only for those things. Okay, so when you're wrapping, it's just easiest to get really sharp corners. And let me get my tape out. I do tape to the box. I find that it's just easier for me. So, and this is gonna curl in because it's not meant to be used inside out, but that's okay. <laughs> So flip it over, push the sides in all the way to the, to the edge. So that way you get a crisp corner and fold. And then same thing up here. If you go all the way to the edge, you can just fold in like this. Since this is the bottom side, then this is the bottom goes down first because that way everything matches. So, so everything points towards the back. So give me a second and I'll turn this over. I'll just keep it for now. All right, so this side, same thing. So this again is still our back side, right? So fold in the two sides. So I'm kind of just sticking my pinky. I'm going all the way to the edge and then folding it this way and that way. Same thing as the top. So pull down. Okay, so this is our front side. All right, so this is our front. What I did was I cut out the names. So this is from my daughter to her cousin. So it's Charlotte and Claire. And I figured, you know, with the two of them, they're gonna know who's who. So I didn't do the from and all that stuff. Um, so it's gonna go like this. And because they're both young, I didn't do a scripty font like I usually do. So this is why I welded some pieces together like the T here and Char is all one, but I felt like I couldn't really do the rest of it without it looking funny. So where's my E? There's my E. Um, interesting. Because I felt like I could, okay, here we go. So I wanted to do an iron on reindeer. So I have a reindeer here. What's awesome about this image from Design Space is I think you can see it here. So here's the weeded part, and then the then you also have the outline. So you can do this reindeer two times with one image. So I love that, I think it's so cute. So anyway, um, so I'm gonna put down 
the reindeer, and then I made a bunch of red glitter circles. So that way that's the nose. Um, so I'm just going to, and because this is a present and not, you know, like a shirt or something, I'm just going to iron on the, um, the glitter HTV onto glitter. Normally they recommend don't do glitter on top of glitter, but I think in this case it's fine. So that fits well right there. So I'm going to pull this down. I've already um, heated my mini. And since this is the weeded part, it doesn't have the, um, the transfer sheet on there. So I've laid it down. I'm going to put my protective covering on top. This is the Teflon sheet that I have on my Amazon shop. So I'll make sure to put the link there. But I love it because for this project, it's nice. I mean, you know, like when you're using the weeded parts and you don't have the transfer paper. But what I really like it for is like when you're ironing on for dark, dark color items like a black t-shirt, when you put this over, you don't have that weird iron mark. That always makes me worry that, you know, it's not gonna come off. So there's the cute little, it's kind of hard to see in the light, so I'm, I apologize for that. All right, with these, I so I have the name, and I also wanted to put down some snowflakes here and there. So we'll be doing that as well. And then we'll put the snow in. So that way it doesn't look so plain. Um, all of this, I think we can put, use our glue tape. So we're just going to flip it over, put some glue tape down. And um, I had a couple different shapes, so I'm just trying to make sure that Um, so let's do the name and normally I do not do the tape onto here because I don't want tape residue but because we're using the fake snow this will capture some of the snow down so I'm fine with doing it straight on here and normally I'm a big stickler for all the tape residue that's sticking in between the letters but today I don't care where that where the stickiness is going because that's going to keep some of the snow um, in place. Uh, we're sending this far away so they can't be mad at me when they see how much of the fake snow might fall out <laughs> so um so the fake snow is also from the dollar tree store so pretty much this was like a low budget you know gift um wrapping option now i did find a new place to buy glitter cardstock because if you've noticed Cricut is always out of their glitter cardstock. This is such high-end cardstock. Um, I did a quick video that I'm going to speed up to show you um, when I pulled the letters off the mat. Oh my gosh, the paper is so thick. I don't know, can you tell from here? Like it's not flimsy at all. So it's nice and thick, it cut beautifully. So easy to handle. And it's so pretty. This blue, um, I haven't seen this light color blue. So it's really, I thought it was great for the snowflake. Um, so that will also be on my links here. And it, if you use my code, the useless crafter, um, all one word, then um, you can get 10% off your order. Let's put that down. Okay, so now we're going to do the clear wrap. So again, this was also from the Dollar Tree. And I'm just gonna cut it like this. Okay. And we'll put this this way. Now it's kind of hard to see, but 
So I am going to pour some snow in just here and there so that there's a little bit on each side. And then I'm also going to just So I'm putting the snow down so it will stay there. And then I'm going to tape down our sides, our paper. Okay, so on here on the sides, I'm not going to do snow on the side because that's a little bit too hard to coordinate. I mean, you could put a little bit here and there, but I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm, I'm assuming that with, with the front being so pretty that it's always gonna be um, face side up, so. All right, so this I'm gonna pop open. I'm gonna slide it open. This is the front side right here, and I'm just gonna pour in my I'm gonna pour in some there. And I guess I can pour a little bit more here. And in the back. Okay. So let's see how much snow that is. Actually, not that much, so. This is what it looks like so far. So we wanna get more. I'm actually just gonna dump the bag. <laughs> this is for a three-year-old, soon to be four, I think. She's gonna love it. Okay, so we're gonna tape this down. And if you're not a ribbon person, I feel like this is the greatest gift. snow to move all around because now you can barely even see the snowflake but there you have it so let me see if I can lift it up there so there's Charlotte Rudolph Claire and a bunch of snowflakes it's gonna be cute once I get it to adjust but hopefully that helped you um, this was on two the the mini I love the mini and I'm gonna turn it off before I but I have it out almost the whole time on my on my desktop for a week. Like it's just always out. I use it a lot. It's super handy. So I definitely recommend that. All right, I will see you guys.